everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and I cannot believe that it is already almost time to go back to school. Can you believe it? Summer goes by so fast. I know that I only have a couple of weeks before I go back to school, and I've been super busy trying to get my new classroom all set up. And right now, since I changed grade levels, as you might have heard, I am feeling a little bit nervous about what this new year is going to bring. My friends, how are you feeling about going back to school? And for you, my friends, maybe this is your first year going to school, or maybe you've even already started school. Have you been going to school for a few years because you're in first, second, third grade? Oh my goodness, how are you feeling about starting this school year? Yeah, starting school is a big event. Or if you've already started school, how is it going? How are you feeling about it? Yeah. Well, I know for me that especially starting at a new grade level with fifth graders who are older than I usually teach, I've taught first grade last year, I have a lot of questions about what it's going to be like. Like a lot of what if questions or what's going to happen if this happens questions, all kinds of questions. My friends, do you have any questions about school? or what's gonna happen, or if you've already started school, like what's gonna happen next, or what's gonna happen soon in the future? Yeah, well guess what? It's natural to have questions and to wonder about it. And if you ever do have questions or are wondering about something, school is the best place to figure things out. All right, my friends, well I have the perfect back to school or just starting school book for you today. It is by one of the funniest authors. This author writes the Elephant and Piggy books, which you might be familiar with, which are some of my favorite. He also writes the Pigeon books, and it looks like Pigeon is back with us today to share with us in the whole back to school festivities. Double thumbs up if you've read a Pigeon book before. I know a very popular one is Don't Let That Pigeon Drive the Bus. Have you read that one? That's a funny one. If you haven't, definitely check that one out. Well, I'm excited to share with you that this week's featured read aloud is The Pigeon Has to Go to School. Written and illustrated by Mo Willems. Alright, well I think we are ready to just jump right into this one and get started. What do you think? Okay, let's begin. So this week's featured So, as I mentioned, so this week's featured storybook is The Pigeon Has to Go to School, written and illustrated by Mo Willems. So remember, if there's just one name on the bottom, that means that that person wrote all the words and drew all the pictures. Now, my friends, let's take a look here on the cover. I see a little speech bubble over here. And I remember from the last story that speech bubbles mean that someone is talking. So, looks like Pigeon has something to say here about him having to go to school. Let's see what he says. He says, come on! My friends, just by looking at him and what he said, how do you think he feels about going to school? He doesn't sound like super happy or excited about it, does he? Not really. So do you feel similar, like the same as Pigeon about going back to school, or do you feel a little bit different? Alright. Well, I see a kind of grumpy Pigeon not wanting to go to school. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think he'll have to go to school? I know that almost everyone has to go to school, so I'm interested to see what's going to happen with this Pigeon and how he's going to get to school. You ready? Okay, let's get started. So here's our title page. Remember the title page has our title. The Pigeon Has to Go to School. Written and illustrated by Mo Willems. And oh my goodness, my friends, I see this pigeon here and he's flopping his wings. And how is he feeling right now? Kind of like distressed or worried, right? And it looks like he's kind of blocking the title. And here's another speech bubble. He's saying, wait, don't read that title. Oh. Why don't you think he wants to read the title? Because he doesn't want to go to school, does he? So he says, wait, don't read that title. <gasps> Too late. Rats. Oh, Pigeon has so many emotions, doesn't he? So many feelings. How about now? How is he feeling? So kind of sad here, but how about now? Why do... 
I have to go to school. Hmm, so now he seems kind of like, huh, I don't want to have to go to school. A little bit angry, maybe. I already know everything, says the pigeon. <gasps> Do you think that's true? Do you think he knows everything already? <laughs> hmm, go on, ask me a question. Any question. All right, my friends, what question do you want to ask Pigeon? Maybe think of a really hard one and see if he knows everything for real. What question would you ask? That's a good one. Go ahead, ask it. Ready? In three, two, one. Ask your question. Think he's going to know the answer? Let's see. Uh, see that little squiggle on top of his head? Makes me think that he's like, uh, stumped. I don't know. Mm. Well, he says, I know almost everything. <laughs> so, you asked a pretty good question. Nice job. Didn't know that one yet. Does school start in the morning? Does school start in the morning? Yeah. Because you know what I'm like in the morning. <gasps> it is not pretty. My friends, how are you in the morning? Are you a morning person, like really super happy right when you wake up? Or does it take you a little bit to get happy and get ready for the day? Yeah, some of you might be a little bit like Pigeon and not a morning person. I wish I was a little chick again. A little itty bitty not going to school baby weeby Pigeon. Uh, oh, I look at Pigeon as a baby. Aw, is he cute? So why does he wish he was still a little baby pigeon? Because babies don't go to school. Do you ever wish you were a baby so you didn't have to go to school? Hmm. Now how does he look like he feels, my friends? Kind of panicked or kind of scared, right? What if I don't like school? What if I really don't like it? What if I really, really don't like it? <laughs> what if... <gasps> Oh my gosh, sounds like he's super worried about school. My friends, did you ever feel like this? Like, did you ever think or are you feeling like, what if, what if you don't like school? That's kind of, yeah, a thing that would make me really nervous and worried about going. So Pigeon says, what if, what if the teacher doesn't like pigeons? Oh no, my friends. That would make me feel really scared about going to school if I thought maybe the teacher didn't like me. My friends, do you ever have that worry or thought about going to school? Well, let me let you in on a little secret. As a teacher myself, teachers love all of their students. And especially on the first day of school, guess what? The teacher's a little nervous too. The teacher's also thinking, oh, what if my students don't like me? So I think if you're both just really kind to each other, it'll be great. But, poor Pigeon doesn't know that yet. And the stuff! What about all the stuff? What stuff is he talking about? There is so much stuff to learn. I agree. There's a lot to learn in school. That's why you go. <laughs> poor Pigeon. <gasps> what if I learn too much? My head might pop off. Do you think that would happen, really, my friends, if you learn too much? <sighs> and I don't even think you can learn too much. I think you can always learn new things. Your brain's pretty cool like that. It can learn so many things, but... Ah! <coughs> Poor pigeon. Looks like some different feelings. How's he feeling now? I'm... Scared. And I notice, my friends, that here in the pictures, he's really small. It kind of makes me feel even more like he's like, I'm scared. Hmm. Ah, now what feeling is happening? <laughs> Looks like he's going a little wacky, right? What will happen at school? Seems like not knowing about school is making him really anxious. That's when you feel kind of like your tummy kind of hurts and maybe your heart starts beating a little bit fast and you feel like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. Do you ever feel like that, my friends? Anxious? When you try new things, sometimes you feel anxious. You think Pigeon's going to start feeling better about school, though? 
I hope so. I think Pigeon has lots of questions though about school. Ready? Let's see what they are. What if there is math or numbers? <gasps> is there math and numbers at school? Why does the alphabet have so many letters? Reading can be hard with one big eye. <laughs> Poor Pigeon only has got one eye. What about lunch? Oh, why might someone be nervous about going to lunch? Yeah, maybe it might be kind of scary about who do you sit next to? What will the other birds think of me? Do you ever worry think about that? What if, what will the other kids think about me? Will finger paint stick to my feathers? What's up with those heavy backpacks? I'm a fragile bird. The unknown stresses me out, dude. Ugh. I would feel stressed out too if I worried about all of these things. My friends, do you ever feel stressed out about school or something? If you don't know that much about it and you have to go? It's a normal feeling. Let's see what Pigeon does though to make himself feel not so stressed. There should be a place to practice all those things with experts to help you. And books. And other birds to work and play with. And classrooms. And classrooms. Maybe a playground too? Wait a minute. All these things he's talking about. That sounds like a pretty familiar place. What place has experts to help you? Classrooms, friends, playground. School? Hmm. Oh, the light bulb. That is school. Looks like Pigeon realized the same thing. He can practice and learn all those things at school. Well, how am I supposed to get there anyway? How do you get to school, friends? Some people take cars, buses. <gasps> what a what a what? What is this, my friends? A school bus? How does Pigeon feel about that? I remember that other book, Don't Let Pigeon Drive the Bus. Pigeon's pretty fond of buses. He kind of likes buses a lot, huh? Step aside, coming through. The pigeon has to go to school. Now how does Pigeon feel about going to school? Very excited, right? And very like urgent, like, oh, I have to go to school now. And why does Pigeon feel like he has to go to school now? Because all those things that he was worrying about, those things that are important to learn about, he realized that school is where you learn all those things. And if maybe you're nervous about something, the best thing to do is to try it out and practice it. Where better to practice how to learn all those things than school, right? Oh my goodness, I'm so glad Pigeon is excited to go to school. The end. And my friends, now if you notice, all these desks are now filled with all of his friends from school. And what do you notice about what kind of animals are at the school? Yeah, they're all birds, huh? Do you see Pigeon? In the corner here and... Look, he's raising his hand all super excited. The end. So, my friends, what a fun back to school read aloud. And it was pretty funny, but it also had some really important parts, right? It talked a lot about maybe some fears or some questions that you might have about going to school and how those feelings are all pretty normal. It can be kind of scary. But in the end, just like Pigeon, once you go to school, though, that's how you'll learn and realize that Maybe school isn't too bad in that you'll make a lot of friends, the teacher will be nice. The best way to get over something that you're nervous about is just to try it out. Practice it. What was your favorite part of this story? Yeah, there were a lot of funny parts. One of my favorite parts was when the bus came and he was like, wuzza, wuzza, wah. But after reading this story, what are some questions that you have about school, my friends? Yeah, those are all great questions to have. Well, you know, the only way to figure out those questions is to go to school and see what happens. But let me reassure you that I bet you you're going to have a great time at school. And if you've already started school, I hope it's going really great. And I'm pretty sure that you're going to have a great year. School is super fun when you meet so many new friends and have a great teacher. 
All right, my friends, well, there is a special craft that goes along with this read aloud, and it's a craft to help us navigate and think about all those questions that we might have and all these feelings that we might have about school and going back to school. There are two different versions of this craft, one about feelings, one about thinking about your back to school experience. So let's go ahead and check them out. I'm very excited to share these with you. So this week's featured craft is a pigeon pinwheel. And if you look right over here, it looks just like the pigeon. And it's a pinwheel craft because the inside spins. Now, I know this book, Pigeon Has to Go to School, it talks a lot about different feelings about going to school and different things that might happen at school. So this little pigeon pinwheel craft is a fun little way to record your back to school experience. Uh, the things or the things on the wheel behind it for example, are this is how I got to school, and it has a little picture of a bus down below, but you get a ride in whatever you want. If you keep spinning, I'm excited for, what are you excited for? My teacher is, I want to learn, what do you want to learn? Just like Pigeon wanted to learn so many different things. And um, what if, what's a what if question you have? Pigeon had so many in the story, if you remember. What if there are so many letters and my head pops off? Lots of what if questions, so what's one of yours? And then I feel, how do you feel about going back to school? It can either be a first day thing you do after the first day of school or maybe after a week of school, somewhere near the beginning. And right here is where you put your name. And then the pigeon part is super cute and I have two versions you can do. This one's already colored if you have a color printer at home. It's already blue like pigeon uh, with the little feet. Or there is this version. It's a black and white version and then you get a color in pigeon however you'd like. You can make it blue like the story or maybe like a rainbow pigeon. Any kind of pigeon you want. And then this one is a feelings one. Um, the back to school one and the feelings one come in both black and white and the colored version. So I just wanted to show you a feeling version um, so you saw the two different kinds so for this feelings one in the book pigeon had so many feelings about school and I know sometimes it's hard to share how you're feeling and this little wheel is something you can use the first day of school or even just every day to kind of share how are you feeling for the day so maybe you want to turn to oh maybe you're having a sad day you'll turn to sad for the day but maybe it changes then to excited and you feel super excited for the rest of the day there's six different feelings on here um, if you want different ones you're able to before you print it out change what feelings there are on here and then of course you get to draw in the feeling in the little smiley face below then you color you put it all together and you got your little pinwheel crafts so again there's two different versions there's a colored version there's a black and white version and then there's both versions available for the go back to school and the feelings one all right, my friends, they're super cute pigeon crafts. And if you'd like to find the templates and directions on how to make the craft and all the printouts, you can check out my blog, My Storybook, by clicking on the link below. There you'll also find other resources as well as other read aloud crafts. Okay, so I hope you had just as much fun as me reading The Pigeon Has to Go to School. It's making me really excited to go back to school. Maybe I'll even read it to my fifth graders. Who knows? Even the older kids love funny read aloud stories. You are never too old to listen to a read aloud book. So it's about time to end this read aloud video, but my friends, please reach out in the comments below and share with me what you thought about this story, maybe when you're going back to school or how your back to school went. If you do the craft, feel free to share pictures with me, share your feelings, what you liked about school, maybe some questions you have, and maybe I'll know some of the answers or can give you some encouragement. I'd love to hear from you and I always reply back. You can comment and talk to me here on YouTube by commenting down below, on my blog, on Facebook, on Instagram, all the social media links you can find down there. And of course, to keep up with all of our reading adventures, please be sure to subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel so you get to know when the next Read Aloud comes out. So I hope you have a great back to school. If you've already started, I hope you're having a great school year. And if you're about to start, you are going to have a great time, I'm sure of it. But my friends, until next time, I hope you have a whole bunch of reading adventures and of course, happy reading.